You've heard the phrase, it's not what you know, it's who you know. That is exactly how one man ended up with his name on the map. In 1861, the former city attorney of San Francisco, also former state assemblyman of California, was elected California's attorney general. The new governor of California, who was just elected, was Leland Stanford. Well, in 1863, neither one of those men were re-elected, and our former attorney general decided he wanted to be a Civil War correspondent. And he actually went as far as to impersonate the senator from California just so he could get close to the action. Some years later, he went back to San Francisco and opened up the Argonaut newspaper. And he was getting pretty wealthy doing it. At that time, Leland Stanford had also become the president of the Southern Pacific Railroad. Now we moved to Tulare County, where some real estate speculators had purchased some land, and they knew their project would be successful if they could get the rail line to actually come through their area. So they called this man who owned the newspaper in San Francisco and begged him to become business partners with them. And because of his friendship with Leland Stanford, the railroad did come through this area, and they named it after that former city attorney, state assemblyman, attorney general, Civil War correspondent, newspaper publisher, Frank Morrison Pixley, on the map of Tulare County. Oh, by the way, those real estate speculators made money hand over fist. With Emily Lucas behind the camera, I'm A.J. Fox. You can watch this and other episodes of our On the Map series by going to our website at yourcentralvalley.com forward slash on the map.